Allah Azza wa Jal is basically telling them what? And telling us, by the way, the same thing till today. And you can take this ayah and use it to diagnose the entire ummah and offer solutions. And also, or if you yourself are going through something personally, a trauma or a problem, that ayah also applies. So whether it's a person or the entire ummah, it's the same thing. So Allah Azza wa Jalla says that if you have iman, you are what? Alone. Superior. You're above it. You should be stronger. And you are. You will have more resolve. And you do. You have patience. Because your iman gives all of that to you. So if you have an iman, you should shun and push away two things. Do not be weak and do not be sad. Because if you have iman, that means that you are close to whom? Allah Azza wa Jal. And if you're close to Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah made certain promises to you. And Allah Azza wa Jal said that He is by your side and by saying that you have iman, you are by His side as well. So if you're going through life, again, as an individual or you're thinking about the ummah, if you're going through life and Allah is by your side, I want you to feel it. Allah is by your side. Can you be weak? Or could you lose hope? Or would you be sad? Because if you lose something, you know that Allah Azza wa Jal has taken it from you because it's best for you to lose it, right? And you know that if Allah is right by your side, Allah will compensate you for your loss in ways that will make you forget about that loss. You with me? In the Akhirah, yes, but even in the dunya, they will make you forget about that loss. So the Muslims in the battle of Uhud, Allah had showed them of his favors afterwards that made them forget about the loss of Uhud. Isn't it? And he showed his Prophet wasallam that he was afraid that Muslims are going to be exterminated. He showed them so many Muslims coming into Islam from every part to the extent that he was sending, sending messages to the emperors on the face of this earth to Persia and the Byzantines and Africa. He was sending, now you join because everybody in Arabia now has joined and accepted Islam. So Allah Azza wa is telling the believers at every age, at any time, you have no space in your heart for weakness or for sadness. When do you accomplish anything in this life? When do you tenaciously pursue a goal and you never give up? When you do what? When you have belief. When you believe yet that you can do it, when you believe that you can su succeed, you never give up. Right? So anybody who has accomplished anything in this dunya, when they accomplished it, they did because what? They believed. And so, they accomplished that goal. So Allah is telling us, the belief that you have is superior to any other belief. And the strength of belief that you should have is greater than any other belief. So should you ever give up? Should you ever be sad? And even if people harm you, what, Allah, what does Allah Azza wa Jal say? It says, if you are hurt, your opponents, if you have an opponent, if you, the opponents have also had been hurt like you before. And this, these days we alternate them between people. That is in this time, at this stage, if they are strong and you are weak, don't you remember or can't you go back in history to a time where they were weak and you were strong? Yeah? Do you, so do you think it's going to remain the same as it is today and never change? Nudawiluha, it's going to change. So never give up no matter what happens because Allah Azza wa Jal is with you. So it tells you that no matter what life hits you with, you should not be sad. Initially, yeah, you're going to receive it with some sadness. But when you remember Allah Azza wa Jal, when you remember what happened to His Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when you remember all the promises of Allah and you go back to your Iman and you calm yourself down and say, I haven't lost everything. 
In fact, Allah compensates me. And that little thing that I've lost is small compared to what Allah had given me. And if I ask Allah from His favors, He'll give me more and more in this dunya, but certainly in the hereafter. If you say this to yourself and you keep saying it to yourself and you believe it, you're not going to be sad anymore. If you say this to yourself and you keep saying it and you believe it, you're not going to be weak anymore. But you will push forward and you will continue to push because you believe in Allah Azza wa Jal. So there is no despair with Allah. And there is no loss of hope until the last breath. There is no loss of hope with Allah Azza wa Jal. And there is no sadness with Allah Azza wa Jal. And these things that happen to us, Allah Azza wa Jal wants to purify us. He wants to remove your sins and elevate you. And He wants to make evident that you are a believer. Because if Iman and Islam was all butter and honey, meaning that whatever you do, I mean, if you are Muslim, you're going to be rich, and you're Muslim, you're going to be famous, you're going to get everything beautiful, everybody's going to be Muslim. Everybody is going to be a believer. But when it is trying, when it is uncomfortable at times, only those who are sincere will stay on the path. Only those who are sincere will praise Allah Azza wa Jal. That's why there is some testing. So if you persevere and you are patient, Allah will compensate you for, your, for that patience. So we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to fill our hearts with hope, to fill our hearts with certainty, and to fill our hearts with iman. So we believe His promise, always believe in His promise, and never give up. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum subhanakallahu wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atuhu.